in no way the, the flat VPA or the low carbon development strategy that is in the consultative process right now is speaking towards reduction in forest activities, reduction in harvesting of wood, wood or, or, or the production of wood products. What it speaks to directly is the sustainability of it, as was mentioned by Ambassador, um, how inclusive the process is, and also, and importantly, how legal the operation or the products are. That was Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Bharat as he joined European Union Ambassador to Guyana Fernando Pons Canto at the Pegasus Hotel on Tuesday for the signing of an implementation agreement for the long talked about Guyana EU Forest Law Enforcement and Governance and Trade Voluntary Partnership Agreement. Bart assured that although the agreement will guard against illegal logging in keeping with the agenda of the country's low carbon development strategy, it will do nothing to reduce other legal and sustainable forest activities. He noted that Ghana has one of the best forest management systems in the world. It is not in any way to say to our operators because I don't want uh, any misinformation going to our operators and our stakeholders in the forestry sector to say that we are cutting down on forest activities. As a matter of fact, what we are doing is just to ensure that we do it in a sustainable, inclusive, legal manner. That is all we are doing. The minister said government has been successful in tackling legal logging by making more resources available to the Guyana Forestry Commission. Meanwhile, the EU ambassador noted that the concerns raised about the forestry regulation are currently being discussed in Europe. He believes that it is timely to have the agreement as a means of continued preservation of the forest. There are very important commitments, very important declarations of intentions, which uh, it is very important now to follow up very closely. One of the things that I have seen is that we want to sign, and we have the ambitious project of signing the VPA by September 2022. Uh, I think that the sooner the better. You can count on the delegation of the European Union to make that happen. Uh, if it is by September, it is good. If it is even earlier, even better. During the meeting, the parties discussed the establishment of the Guyana EU VPA Joint Monitoring and Review Committee, which will oversee the implementation of the agreement and includes representatives of all stakeholder groups. The VPA negotiations began in December 2012. It involves the private sector, government agencies, and indigenous peoples. Ghana presents 18.3 million hectares of standing forests, which stores 19.5 gigatons of carbons, worth conservatively U.S. $195 billion. Deforestation currently stands at 0.05%, allowing the country to harvest 1 million cubic meters a year, but only 400,000 is being harvested at present.